Hey everybody, this is Ian here, and today we are doing a Arc Age Commerce. Today's episode is going to be talking about the locations of alt gold traders, resource traders, and especially workbenches in the continent of Haranya. Now, if you are a Nuyan, that will be our next episode in order for me to explain where all of these things are in order for you to do trade packs and all that. And, uh, Hopefully that'll help you out quite a bit on your side. But today we're going to be focusing on Hranya because that's where my character is and it's a little bit easier for me to do so. So without further ado, let's go ahead and, be and uh, begin talking about everything that's uh, where you can find everything. Oh, uh, before that, however, I would like to say that this is going to be a little bit of a long episode. So thank you very much in advance for those of you who do sit through the entire video. Uh, you can skip back and forth and hopefully I'll put up some annotations or something at a later date. So uh, go ahead and let's get started. All right, so right here we ha we are in Arkham Iris, located at the uh, bottom of Haradia. Uh This is also the starting area for one of the races for, uh, for the Haranian Alliance. But the first workbench that we're talking about is right here, is the Arkham Iris Specialty Workbench. The closest portal to which is through Hatoria. You might also be able to get through from anywhere, but the closest one that I've found is Hatoria. So, in each workbench we have two different specialties. We have Arkham Iris Roasted Eggs, which require 30 eggs, 50 ground spices, and as you will see, everything requires one quality certificate. The second one being Arkham Iris Lava Spice, which requires 30, or is that 50? 50 dried flowers and 60 turmeric. Um, there is only one way up, and uh, if you're using a um, if you're using a hauler or a cart, and that is through anywhere to the east, we'll be able to get you up without an issue. Here we have the second Arkham Iris uh, special uh, crafting workbench, which is right here, not too far away from our uh, from uh, Tigris Mine Mountains, and not too way uh, far away from Wide Sleeves. The closest portal to which is through White Sleeves itself. Um, and it's uh, located conveniently right next to the road right there. So hopefully that should be able to get you pretty quick. Next up, let me show you where the uh, gold trade. Let me uh, let me show you where the gold trader is. So right here, just to the north of Windsleeves, along the road, you will find the gold trader. Um, as I said, it's just keep going down the road right here right next to the public farm it's really hard to miss and uh, you should be able to see it on your way into tiger spine next up we have falcourt plains <clears throat> which is a starting area for the cat people now it only has one specialty workbench which is located right outside of oxygen clan and also really close to the gold trader so it's uh, just a little bit down from the hill here so it's pretty pretty easy to find as there's only one now in Falkorth, you can make Snow Lion yarn, which requires 30 goose down or and 50 medicinal powder, and apple and uh, apple tarts, which require 20 apples and 50 ground grain. And uh, th those are all pretty simple to make, and it's pretty easy to find since it's the starting area. Now the gold trader's right up the hill there, so that I'm going to show you right now. So here we have the Falkorth Gold Trader, located right in between, uh, right at Oxian Clan, which is the closest port, and right in between these two airship towers. Um, so it's very easy to get to, especially with the fact that the airship towers go just about everywhere. You can get there from Villanelle, Mahadavi, Windscour, or Rookborn just by using the uh, the uh, towers. So it's a pretty easy way to gain. <clears throat> A little bit of gold at a time in order to use the gold trader. So here we have Tiger Spine. Now Tiger Spine only has one specialty workbench that has no gold trader, but it is located just outside of Anvilton, which should be your closest portal. So here you have Tiger Spine, Tiger Spa pancakes, which require 50 ground grain and 20 milk, as well as the one quality certificate, and the grape jam, which requires 30 chopped produce and 30 grape. Now, don't forget there is no gold trader here, so you will have to go out and trade from here instead of to here. So here we are in Mahadavi, just to the north of the city of Towers, where we have our first of three Mahadavi specialty workbenches. 
Now, in Mahadavi, you have, uh, as always, two specialty packs, which is Elephant Cookies, which requires 10 bananas, and I can't tell if that's a 5 or a 3, but 50 or 30 chopped produce, and Root Herbs, which require 15 Orchard Puree and 20 Bay Leaves. Uh, this one that I'm at right here is, it's an okay space, but I never hear of anybody using it, probably because I don't do any Mahadavi packs. Um, it's probably okay to just go back into the City of Towers and then go out to Solus or Tiger Spine, but they're, they're, uh, the other two I find to be a little bit of a better option. So here we have our second workbench of Mahadavi, which is just north of the Herb Farm, uh, located uh, in Queensgrove. Now this one is pretty easy to find and it also has really great access to the water and uh, let me just show you the third one real quick here. Alright and here we have our third and final Mahadavi workbench which is just north of Herb Farm and uh, just to the east of Queens Grove located just along the road here. Now the one in Queens Grove and the one just to the east of it are right off the coast of uh, Black Rock Coast which allows easy access to Villanelle, uh, not Silent Forest, Unisteer, and Solus Headland. So it makes it a pretty a pretty moderate place in order to get packs. But I do think it's quite crazy that there are three workbenches here. I, I don't understand that myself, but that's where they're at. So here we have the Mahadavi Gold Trader, which is located in the City of Towers, which is the closest port, and I'd consider it about even with Palace Cellar if you don't have to walk upstairs. And it's located right in the center of Mahadavi, but right at the corner of the Trade Plaza. And this is, um, I don't know, this is a little bit out of the way as far as everything, especially considering that most of the time when you're trading, you have to go either through the City of Towers, so it should be right on the way, or around it. So... It's an okay spot as far as um, as far as the gold trader goes. So here we are in Solus Headlands at uh, just south of Halo Hollow, which is while, where you will find your first specialty workbench, or at least the most convenient one in my opinion. Now, um, Solus Headlands will have Solus Alchemy Oil, which requires 50 medicinal powders and 20 yadifers, and Juice Concentrate, which requires, again, 50 medicinal powders and 10 jujubes. So this is a great one because if you look at the map here, get that out of the way, if you look at the map here, you uh, have a nice big ocean to the south of you, you're able to go around, and it's a really great place to be able to get stuff sneakily out of Solus, and especially if you're trying to go over to Nui, to be able to get there, you can just kind of crawl along the bottom there. So it's uh, one of the better ones, in my opinion, as far as uh, making packs are concerned. So here we have the second um, the second crafting station in Solus, which is located just to the west of Checkpoint. However, the fastest way to get here, I would say, is even between Halo Hollow and Traveler's Spring. Now, this is an okay location, because as you can see here, this has very easy access to not having to go around the entire coast of the ocean, and it's great if you're having to go north with your pack, such to say, Yenistir or something. It gives you a nice, easy way to get there. So, uh, both of them, both of them are possible, and really they're both made for, um, made for ocean, but this one specifically is a little bit better because it's farther inland for land trade routes, so just keep that in mind. Next up, I'm going to show you where the gold trader and the resource trader of Solus are. So here we have the resource trader and the gold trader and a gold trader of, um, of Astera, which is in Solus Headlands. Now, this is located right on the port here, and this is actually a really popular spot for people trying to get to charcoal stabilizer, uh, especially coming in from Nui. From Nuia. So, um, this is a great place because not only is it when you ship off from here, you get a, uh, a ship buff, you go over to Nui or wherever you need to, grab a pack and come back, but it is also highly patrolled by pirates along this area, so please make sure that you are here at your own risk and uh, you're aware that you can get attacked at any time. Now here we have Villanelle, which is uh, on the east, which is on the west coast of the continent. Um, the specialty workbench is just south of Lutsong Hill, even though it's a little bit of a walk, you're still able to get here uh, without many issues. So, the Villanelle trade packs are 
the Villanelle Pot Puri, which is 25 goat wool and 50 dried flowers, and preserved cherries, which are, looks like 8 cherries and 50 dried flowers. Now this is really close to the ocean, so it's really easy to be able to just go out and do trade packs from Villanelle to Two Crowns, Sand Deep, or Cinderstone more. So this is also another popular, uh, popular one. Let me go ahead and show you the resource trader and the gold trader now. So here we have the Villanelle, not just the gold trader, but also the resource trader. It's located right off of the, right on the pier of Lutsung Harbor in Villanelle, which is uh, just at the, you know, it's right on the coast of Villanelle. So <clears throat> the gold trader is right here on the dock and the resource trader is right here. The resource trader here, if you turn anything over from Nuia, will also get you crystal stabilizers, so it is pretty popular for Nuians to be able to come over and get that crystal stabilizer, or even or even anyone from Haryana as well. So here we are in Silent Forest, and just off the side of Count Sebastian's retreat is the closest uh, specialty workbench. Now, this specialty workbench you can go up to and you can make. The specialties are dried fruit, which require 15 orchard puree and 10 milk, <clears throat> or palm candy, which requires 50 ground spices and 50 pomegranate. Now, this is a good place because it's right along the main road. It's uh, kind of flat on the way there, but with only small hills, so it's a good place whenever you're going anywhere inland, and it's right... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a bit uh, dry here. <clears throat> And it's also really close to Yenisteer, and even closer to some water, With but only I'd only do go that way for water if you're doing one trade pack, otherwise I'd go south. But um, there is no gold trader here, so there's no way for me to be able to show that. And it's a good place in order to get anywhere inland, because you're mostly safe up until Rookborn or Windscour. So here, so here we are in Yenisteer, and the closest end uh, at the one of two specialty workbenches. Now I'm kind of torn between the two because you can get there from Kaynord or Hedir's Farm, and they both look to be roughly the same distance. So it's up to you on which one you want to try. Personally, I think Hedir Farm might be a little bit closer because you can get straight there from Hedir Farm, just following the road there. Now Yenisteer. You're able to get, uh, you're able to make Yenisteer preserves, which require 50 chopped produce and eight oranges, or Yenisteer olive oil, which requires 50 ground spices and 14 olives. Now, this is a good workbench because this is really close to Kaynor, really close to the water. Um, but however, Yenisteer does go into war quite often, so a lot of people only go here during peace. So that's up to you on where you want to go. Let me go ahead and show you the other one here. Now here we have the second uh, specialty workbench, just outside of Kaynord and just north of Hattier Farm. However, the only really real way up is to go from Kaynord, so that will be your closest port. Now this is a good location because one, there's really, uh, there's really only one way up or down, so it's uh, so you have a good way of figuring out how people are going to attack you. But two, there's actually a really quick way to the ocean if you have a car, just by dropping down right there. Um, so it is uh, so both of them are kind of good locations in their own right. If you're doing something more inland, I would recommend the one just in the middle of these roads here in between Fortress and Brave Four Ruins. But uh, if you're doing any ocean ones, I would recommend this workbench right up here, especially since it's real close to one of the two gold traders, which I will show you right now. So now we have the gold trader in Yinny. Now the normal gold trader is in the entertainment district of Kaynord in Yenisteer, so he's uh, a little bit easy to find. You can get to him by ship or by tra or by uh, trade route, but uh, if you're going, uh, but only if you're going through this direction, you just kind of go through here, go along, there's this little staircase there that you can take over with hauler or through with the car, go over a bridge and you get right to the gold trader. But there is a second one that was added, if not in the last patch, the patch before that, and I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So here we have the second gold and resource trader, which are located just outside of Kaynord, and this is one of the easier ways to be able to go in and uh, get a ship in to be able to do resource or gold trading. Now, uh, these are both good options because you can sail in on both. Kaynord, you can drive in, but you have to do this weird maneuver to be able to get to the gold trader. 
So really it's up to you on which one you want to do. I find that if you're doing land runs and Guinea is not in peace that you should go through this this area right here because people do like the cam uh, right alongside Requiem Cape and people do get killed there quite often including me once or twice. So really it's up to you on which way you want to take from there. So here we are in Rookborn, just to the west of Duskly, we have our specialty workbench. Now, at the specialty workbenches in Rookborn, you can make Rookborn biscuit sticks, which require 10 milk and 15 orchard purees, or fruit leather, which requires 30 figs and it looks like 50 chopped produce. I do apologize, my, uh, my TV, I, I use a TV instead of an actual computer screen, so the numbers come out a little bit blurry for me when it comes to threes and fives but there is a second workbench which I will show you right now so this is the second Rookborn crafting workbench especially workbench and the closest way to get there is either through water mist or Loki as checkmate you might think that one down south or right in this area would be good but unfortunately there's a giant hill that's blocking the way up and you have to go around anyway but um, you get up here and it's located right to the side of this tower. Some people might think that this is a bad place to put the specialty workbench. However, a couple of people that I know use these mountains, especially this section right here, to climb up and then use that to travel right over into Falkworth Plains to be able to get to their areas right there. So this is a very special workbench in order to get around. Next up, let me go ahead and show you the gold trader. So here we have the Rookborn Gold Trader right here to um, a little bit the west of Slislex, Lokia Steps, and I think, if I remember correctly, the closest Rookborn portal to there, if you excuse the mess that I have here, should be Salongos Camp, uh, which is just right up in here to be able to get you to the resource trader without an issue. So the Gold Trader, um, I think it's in a, I think it's in a good location because it's right off the coast of Windscour. There is a little bit of a walk from Hazlitt there, but you can get eight gold just from turning it in there, so that's no issue. Um, this is one that a couple of people like to use pretty often, so you might want to watch your steps, especially since the only guards are right next to the Gold Trader, and that's it. So I would be careful whenever you're using Rookborn in order to do a trade run. So here we are in, in <coughs> sorry, Windscour Savannah, and there is only one Savannah specialty workbench. Now, it's located right in the middle of uh, Morigana Forest, Windheart Lake, but Snow Lion Rock, or Skyfang, should be about even to get where you need to. Now, if you have a glider, you could spawn up in Rookborn and do that, but we're not going to go over that. The quickest way is from Snow Lion Rock or Skyfang. So, at the workbench, you can create either Windscour Hardy Jerky, which is 50 trim meat and 8 Moringa fruit, or Bitter Herbs, which is 50 medicinal powder and 100 mint. So this is an okay location, however it is surrounded by houses everywhere, if you could just... houses and everything everywhere, so it makes it a little bit hard to be able to get out of here. Um, however, if you are able to get it out of here, the best way is towards that way, or go, is go towards Arkham, or go towards Rookborn. And um, really, most of the time, it's better to wait for this to be in peace, because everywhere surrounding here, except for Rookborn, is a good place to be able to uh, travel through it. So it is up to you on where you make it, if you make it, and how exactly you transport it, in my opinion. So here we are right outside of the Herbalist Camp in Paranor to uh, show you the next specialty workbench, of which there are two in Paranor. However, there is no gold trader. So in Paranor, you can make Paranor aged spices, which require 40 avocados and 50 ground grain, and potato powder, which requires 100 potatoes and 15 orchard purees. Now, this can be a great location, especially since it's right near the border, it's near the first port in, and there's even a way up there. However, this is also a great spot for people who own buildings in the area to just fly down out of nowhere. As you can see, almost everything is up. Um, there is a way to be able to get through with a car going over the cliffs, especially if you have a timber coop uh, just going like up and around right there. And that's also another favorite tactic for, uh, for commerce traders like me. 
But um, overall, this is an okay location. Um, however, there is nothing in Hazlitt to turn it in, so this is one of the better locations that, uh, that you can make trade packs from in Paranor. So here we have the last of the uh, crafting uh, specialty workbenches in Paranor. Now here we have, um, this might seem like a really out of place spot when you look at the uh, rest of Paranor because over here it's a great location, but here is actually the best for whenever you're trying to do solo packs because all you need to do is you go up these mountains over here where there is a way to be able to get over here in one pack at a time just or three if using a car, or four if you have someone with you, to just race across Winds, uh, Windscour and, uh, and go straight over into Arkham or, or uh, Rookborn to be able to do those packs. And that's the reason for this one here. Now, like I said, there is no gold trader here in Paranor, so we're going to be going to the last of my series for today, which will be Hasla. So here we are in Hasla. Now, this is the first workbench that we're going to be talking about, which is just a little bit to the east of Jade Gale at the top of this mountain. Now, it is east of Jade Gale and Vro, about the same distance, but Jade Gale is a bit faster, especially since right about here, right in the mountainside, there's this vine that you have to climb up in order to get to this workbench. So it's a little bit out of the way, but it's a lot safer because you can really see from all directions who's going to be there. Now, in Hasla, you can make softened fabric, which requires 50 medicinal powder or 30 duck down, or Hasla cured meat, which requires 50 trimmed meat and 100 lilies. So this is a good one to go because, one, it is really easy to make packs and not get, and not get captured up here, but at the same time, it's pretty hard to get down if you don't have a car or unless you're doing it by foot, in which case you're fine doing it this way as well. Let me go ahead and show you the other one, which is the most used, the one that I used for the longest time. So here, so here is the last specialty workbench in Hasla, and there is no gold trader in Hasla, um, but it is located right between Jade Gale and Vero, which you can port to either, and either way it will take the same amount of time. Personally, I always do Vero, because it's easier to just fly here, but um, this is the most common. You can bring a hauler up here, and you can just put stuff in it and go, and you can get quite a bit of profit off of this, just like I do all the time. But really, this was, um, uh, but really, both of them have their own positives and negatives. You use this one, if you're only using hauler, you use this workbench. If you can use a car or you're doing it one at a time, you use the one up on top of a cliff. So, this was all of the specialty workbenches and gold traders and resource traders in Haryana. Uh, the next video that I'm going to put out is going to be doing all of them in Nui, which will be fun because I'm going to be doing that as this character, and I'm probably going to get killed a few times doing it. So, I don't know, let's hope that that all works out for the best, you know? So, uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if this helped you out at all. I do apologize that this was such a long video, and hopefully this will be uh, the, these next two video, these two videos that I'm putting out will be the longest videos that I put out. I'd like to keep them under 10 minutes. But then, uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Th uh, please like and subscribe or leave a comment if you think there was anything I missed. And have a good one.